hello guys good morning <coughs> welcome to adnan channel today i'm going to show you once again because lots of people not understanding how to install the properly window in the hp lightweight g900 so let's the beginning this is the hp uh, lightweight which is come to with this case i buy this case because this one having internal usb port but only one because i need it to install the window and uh, also i need to connect the what is this the keyboard and the mouse so i buy this uh, usb extender you can buy from any shop you can extend the usb uh, usb extender because i need three port one for mouse one for keyboard one for usb this one is also coming with this ipad this is external uh, usb extender as you can see but i don't need this one because this one is enough for me and also i need 16 gb or 8 gb usb pen drive because uh, for installation the window so let's the beginning i am going to show you first of all you have to uh, search in the google window 8.132 bit it will be redirect to you to the microsoft.com as you can see this is the here is the link i will uh, describe the link in the description so before you begin you can see select an edition so you should select the windows 8.1 only then you have to confirm after the confirmation it will be asking to you for the language so my preferred language is English so I will select the English you can select in your own language if you want but English is the uh, normal language Every, anybody can understand <clears throat> after that you will see the two options Windows 8.1 English you can download in 64 bit and 32 bit but 64 bit is not working on this iPad uh, uh, HP tab so you should download the 32 bit i downloaded already so i don't want to download once again as you can see window 8.0 <coughs> english international 32 bit okay after then you connect your usb to the working computer and also you need to download this software the software name is win setup from usb okay here is two software we have one is using in 32 bit and one is using in 64 bit but my working computer is 64 bit so i need to open the 64 bit software as you can see the, here is software is opened when you connected the usb to the computer you will see here your usb flash drive i didn't connect it now, right now that's why it's not detecting after then you select in the window vista 7 8 and 10 you click here in the three dot okay after then you will find the window which folder you downloaded so click on the open your windows uh, is uh, coming here iso file okay if you connect in the usb you just need to click on the go after the go it will be asking to you for format the usb click yes because all your data will be lost so better you um, backup your usb data after then you have to wait almost 15 minutes it depends on your system speed so after that your usb is ready for bootable okay so that's the beginning my hp tablet is power off now okay here i am going to show you the back side of the tablet you can see this power up and power down volume up and volume down button not the power sorry and here upper side you can see this button is the power button so what you have to do from the beginning you have to press the power down and uh, sorry the volume down and the power up button together almost 16 or 17 minutes I'm going to show you it will showing this startup menu here we go you see uh, I'm really sorry my camera is not very good but I can uh, explain you all so what I'm going to do 
first of all I am going to connect my connector so I can connect all the things like uh, keyboard mouse and etc <clears throat> here we go guys I connected the USB through the connector so now we can see here is mouse is working because sometimes the touch is not working in my condition my touch is working but some people lost the BIOS so they cannot uh, click on the touch so they can use the mouse also and here I am going to connect the USB also here we go you see guys now we have to go in the boot option so you also can press in the F9 and also you can do in the mouse now you see here is the boot OS boot manager and USB hard drive I am clicking from USB hard drive Now you will be see the booting option. It's taking little bit time because it's not very faster because the RAM is very slow. It's only 2 GB. I will be look forward if I can upgrade to the 4 GB or 6 GB <laughs> it would be working very fast as you can see guys here is the normal window option and you can select the next 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 and you can install I am not going to install the window because I already installed it let's see in another link I am going to share the link also as you can see here is the window it's asking for me my password of uh, my account so give me a moment my gosh I think I forgot my password I'm sorry guys I forgot my password that's why taking a time here we go so after the installation window in my case the touch is working but if your case is not touch working so you can use the mouse too after the installation the window oh, I need to connect uh, my mouse to again to the computer so I can see uh, show you how the link is working in the computer because you need to download the driver here is one driver is all in one it's called the BIOS so my old video my previous video you can find this this is my previous video you can see here is the link you can click on the link it will be redirect you to the one website where I upload so anybody can download it free of cost I don't know this website but I